Now you might find that over time your Fire TV device might start running out of space and even though you're deleting apps you might find that there's still a lot of space that's unaccounted for. Well I have found recently that some apps when you download them or when you download updates for them actually don't clean up after themselves properly and you can find that sometimes their installers are left behind. So this video shows you how to check to make sure that there's no installers been left behind on your Fire TV stick. So First of all, you just go up to the magnifying glass just up there in the top left hand corner of the screen. And once you've got the keyboard up on the screen there, just type total space commander. OK, so that's total commander. And then, as you'll see, it's come up down there. So keep pressing the down button until total commander is highlighted in orange and then press the middle button on the remote control. That's the app we want there. So it's highlighted. So just press the middle button on your remote control and then press the middle button again on your remote control. It will now queue it and now download it and then install it. This bit might take a bit of time, please be patient. There you go, mine's now installed. So press the middle button on the remote control now to open it. Now we need to allow Total Commander access to your photos, media and other files on your computer. So make sure that allow is highlighted and then press the middle button on the remote control. Keep pressing the down button there until downloaded files is highlighted and then press the middle button on the remote control and there we go. I can see in there now there's loads of installation files sitting in there. Now I'd say you can delete anything in here but don't delete a yellow folder, one of those, leave those. You can go into the yellow folder to see if there's anything in there, and if there's anything in there, like, like for instance, I'm gonna go into this file linked folder, so I've just used the up and down buttons to highlight the folder, press the middle button to select it, and there you go, I can see there's something in there. Now, that's an installation file, anything in the download folder is. So I can delete that, so just press and hold the middle button on the remote control till this menu appears, and then go down, until delete is highlighted and then press the middle button and then it's asking us do you want to delete the selected files yes so I press the middle button again then I go up to this arrow just up here with the two dots press the middle button and that takes us back to the previous menu and as you can see there's loads of icons in here that can be deleted that will free up quite a bit of space for me so again I just highlight any of these there press and hold the button on the remote control till this appears and then go down to delete and press the middle button and say yes. Go down to the next file, press and hold the middle button on the remote control, go down to delete, press the middle button and then say yes, so press the middle button. And you just keep doing that, just keep going down and doing that and deleting these. Like I say, these are installation files. They're not needed, you know, they're only needed when you first install the program. Really, they should have been deleted after the program was installed but the system hasn't deleted them for some reason so they're taking up quite a bit of space so as you can see here I'm going through quite a few there doing the same thing so I just highlight the, uh, the the file go down to delete and press yes so yeah lastly there you go there's one near task manager so press and hold the middle button like I say go down to delete press the middle button press it again say yes and there you go that folder is now clear so you can check a couple of other folders just go up to the arrow just up here press the middle button now you're in dangerous territory here so don't start deleting willy-nilly unless you know what you're doing but another folder you might find on here that you can safely delete from is downloader just there so go into downloader and there might be files in there there I've got nothing in mine but there may well be in yours downloader should, if you've followed the instructions correctly when um, um, downloading stuff from Downloader, you should have deleted those files anyway once you've downloaded them. But uh, it's worth a check through there. Like I say, you've got lots of other folders here, <clears throat> but leave these well alone and leave the contents of these folders well alone because you could end up getting yourself into trouble by deleting anything from there. So just delete stuff from the download folder or the downloader folder, or just delete stuff from this downloaded files section just there. I suppose the other section you could look in is the photos section there, just in case you've got any photos in there, personal photos that you wanna delete, but it's a Fire TV stick. 
you probably haven't got any photos in there. Anyway, hope this guide helps and I hope this gives you more room on your Fire TV stick. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.